Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% playthrough for Trails of Cold Steel 3. Now, obviously we are on part number 15, however we are about to get asked a very important question here, and that is, would we like to continue or finish off side quests? Now, I covered all the side quests in the previous video, however if you did not do them all, then make sure you hold off for now. Go finish the side quests and then come back. Now, once you've done them all though, it's time to start the keep trial for floor number two. And this one is going to introduce a new mechanic to the game, which is vents. Now, vents are basically just the same as ladders, only, well, we don't climb up them and they can have branching paths inside of the vent themselves. All in all though, I mean, really, really straightforward. This uh, keep floor is pretty easy to be fair. There are four new enemy types in here, and a fifth if you include the boss, and there are a few treasure chests, well technically, a, well when I say a few I mean four, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty fun ride, let's jump into it shall we? Okay, cutscene over, let's go! Elevator, floor two! Begin keep level two. Let's go guys, let's go! I wanna fight, I wanna kill something. I wanna fight things, bro! Another cutscene though, another cutscene. Okay, you heard them everybody, let's go. Uh, we did just get let's a begin. new Brave Order for Kurt and Yuna as well. However, we're not really going to be using them, we're pretty much just going to be sticking to Reen's. And the reason for that is, well, Reen's basically yeah. increases our damage, which it's is by down. far the most important thing ever. Anywho, for the first few battles in here, I am basically just going to cheese them with S-Crafts. Everyone just okay? because it's going to be quicker and there is going to be I enough time to basically refill our CP before the boss. So uh, yeah, let's just continue on, shall we? And here is the right, first event that I mentioned at the start we're, of the video. Um, so we're just going to interact with it and we can we move on. As you can see, really, really straightforward. So we'll have to crawl through the now, boat. these are going to start appearing go throughout the game I as we go, go on. And they're mostly going to lead to treasures yeah. and things like that. However, obviously I will be pointing every it's single one out in the video that we need to go for. So, yeah, let's just continue on, shall we? Now, straight off the bat, I'm going to use Create Test Craft here. Just because, you know, like, speed things Is up in there. Speed things up. Got to speed it all up, right. guys. And we got a level of rain. Sit. Anyway, let's continue on. Sit. Come here, you. We'll end this quick. Uh, yeah, I've already done them, so we're going to use a Nova Rascraft. This time we'll use Rain. My because, well, speed, guys, speed. All right, nice work. Okay. Now, here's where we get the first treasure chest, and it is going to be a holy record. Right after I fire these bats, though, because I don't have these uh, scope yet. Let's go ahead and do that. Have I done that one? Yeah, I've done that one. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a scope on it's the bat turn. now, and we're going to use Altina's S-Craft to finish now, this battle off. Because once again, speed Ready? guys, Lariana. speed. Open fire. Exterminating target. Huh? Ah. Target's eliminated. Move out. Now, of course, we don't have you and his S-Craft, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would also use that in here as well. But, well, we don't have that just yet. So there's the Holy Breath Quartz. Once we've got that, we can carry on through this door. Fight the bats. 
Now, obviously, we've already used all our CP at this point. So, from now on, I'm just going to keep auto-battling with everyone. And the reason for that is simple, basically. CP. Now, when I get to the final boss, I want everybody okay? to basically be up to at least 100 CP, ready to S-craft the boss down. Anywho, we, uh, as soon as we open the door, we need to extend a bridge. Here. So, we're just going to go ahead and crawl through the vent, which leads to a computer terminal. Activate the computer, and the bridge extends. Now, we just got to go back through the vent. Now, coming up, we all... Uh, man, I really cannot get my words out. Coming up, we are about to get the second chest of this place Any as well. Begin suppression. Uh, I did scope him, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, what's the battle back on? Now, one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to save all my brave points as well. I could technically refill them by the time I get to the boss, but, well, you know, it doesn't really do much. And serious leveled up, but it's a useless level. Nothing good from it, unfortunately. So, here we have a split in the path. We can go north or we can go south. We want to go south here for a treasure chest, which contains some new materials. And then we can just continue on. Now we have two more fights, along with another chest. Another chest. Another chest. Just along here. Everyone okay? Okay. So first fight done. Now obviously we have another little bit of a split path. We can go through the door or we can go south. We want to go through the door because of a chest in here. Now in this lovely little chest we get. 50 of every Seppi. So, not amazing by any standard, but, you know, it's still pretty nice to have, that's for sure. Still pretty nice. And are Kurt and Yuna not linked? Are they not linked? I think they're not linked. No, they are linked. Huh. Okay. Anywho, there's the Seppi. So, we can continue on. Now that we have that chest as well, there is actually only one more chest in this place for us to get. And it is going to be inside a vent coming up. However, before that, we have a battle Everyone against a ready? new type of enemy. The Diver Bits. And these, yeah. well, they really aren't a challenge of any standard. Very well. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and just uh, one-shot them. An and as you can see from the right-hand side, everyone's CP is basically full already. The only difference is Kurt still only has 130 and Altina is a lot lower as well. Is that all? It's fine though. It's fine. And here Yuna finds that uh, Schmidt was the one who developed the giant cannon that was pointed at Crossbell back in Cold Steel 2. What was it? Cold Steel 1 actually. Uh, it could have been the end of Cold Steel 1 or it was early on in Cold Steel 2. I can't remember the exact time the cannon made its appearance. In fact, no, I think it was two. I think it was two. Okay. Now, in this big old room, there's only one place to go, and that is the vent. Now, this vent is going to be a little different compared to the two previously, because this one actually has a split in it. Now, you can go south to continue on with the story, however, we're going to go north, because there is a chest up here which contains a super rare quartz, the Mute Free Quartz. And by super rare, I don't mean like it's hard to get or anything, I mean like the actual quality is a super rare. There we go. Mute Free. Now, with that one done, that is the last chest in this area. So we can continue on now and basically finish the level 2 test. So let's do it. We're going to head down to the south and out of the vent. There's going to be a couple more battles. And we also need to extend another bridge. Which means another computer terminal. Which is right there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now I wasn't able to maximize Kurt or Altina's CP. However that's fine. They are still over 100. Which means they can still S craft, which means I can still cheese the ever living hell out of the final boss here. And of course, cheese is nice. Like, who doesn't like cheese? I'll show no mercy. Anyway, let me just make sure I've. Yeah, I've already uh, scanned them with the scope. 
So we're just going to continue on with the auto bar. Not today. And Not today. Good. CP's getting up there. Altina's isn't too bad either. All right. Okay. Nice work. I was kind of close to getting uh, Kurt Max out, but you know I couldn't do it in the end. I couldn't do it. Anyway, now that we've killed that battle, it is basically a straight path to the Let's final boss there. area. My turn. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of enemies here. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to cheese these enemies simply due to the amount of them, because I want the, uh, I want the extra EXP basically. Oh yeah, here are Curse and Yuna's Brave Orders. Basically, less delay and more break damage. I don't really care about them. I'm just going to be using. Uh, I'm just going to be using Raging Fire. Simply due to the fact Raging it's 10 extra formation. CP for everyone. Now. And also it's extra damage. Now, I am going to use uh, Altina's craft here. Simply due to the fact she has the lowest CP, which means her S craft will do the lowest damage out of Reen and Kurt. Now, so we're just going to use her to cheese these Ready? enemies. Mariana. And also get a super high turn. booster. Never mind, it didn't even kill them. Rip. Uh, okay, we'll have to use uh, a little bit of CP with uh, Reen as well, unfortunately. Yeah. It's fine. Okay? 1.9 booster. And that also gives us a decent amount of XP for everything. And Regulus leveled up as well. Nice. Increases CP obtained when damaged. That's by 2 now. Raises strength when battle begins if HP is low. Uh, okay. So, not that great to be fair, yeah, not that I great. I, must I would prefer Reen's uh, Master Quartz to level up, because when that really starts getting up there in levels, we can effectively just S-craft with Reen non-stop. On big a groups of enemies, I should add. Because Reen's uh, Master Quartz actually increases CP by attacks. Anywho, we're just going to rest at that little save point to fully heal, and then we're going to move on for the final boss of this place. <coughs> and it's another archaism. However, this is one that Schmidt developed. And of course, he also has a few little helpers. I don't need to worry about them surrounding me, though. I don't need to worry about that at all. Watch out! This okay, is so straight off the bat, we are going to battle scope the main big old boss, the Stratos Diver. So let's do that. Huh. Mm. So we do get a super rare quartz for beating him, but. Other than that, not My really time. much, not really much. Anywho, we can cheese this now with s -crafts. and oh, Altina managed to get her CP back as well. So did Reed actually. That's nice. Which means I can Brave Order, Raging Fire, Let's more go. damage. Raging fire formation. And then I can just go ahead and do this. So we're going to start with Ultina because her damage is the lowest, and obviously uh, you do more damage in a combo. So Ultina can go first, yeah, and then we'll have uh, Yuna, uh, Yuna sorry, uh, we'll have Kurt, and then we'll have Reen after that. Okay. So the bits are dead, and unfortunately we aren't going to kill the main boss, but we are going to really weaken it. See? We took out a good chunk of his health straight off the bat. You can't escape! Okay, so now it's basically just a case of uh, finishing it off. And of course I'm going to use a rush attack. More damage after all. Now that we're on to Reen, I'm just going to Crimson Slash it. So let's do it. And we'll assess for Altina. Easy peasy. Boss battles made easy. Okay, we did end up with a low uh, booster, unfortunately, but as you can see, we still got some pretty decent XP from it. Some pretty decent XP, along with some pretty decent Master Quartz XP as well. 
It's a shame that uh, Kaleido is taking a little while to level up, though I really want that to level up a lot faster. Just because of more XP later on. And you and it gets told. Okay, and we also got the Moonlands uh, Quartz for clearing the trial. So let's take a look at what that does, shall we? Okay, shows data on enemies yet to be analysed. Enemies and chests are shown on the map. Needless to say, that is really, really good. So let us go ahead and equip that one, actually. Mm, we're going to take defence off. We'll take defence off. Okay, so let's go, shall we? Can I fast travel? I can fast travel, I can. Nice. So we're just going to go ahead and fast travel way back to the entrance, I think. In fact, no, I'm going to show you guys what the Moonlands does. So Moonlands basically just does that. It completely shows the map that we've explored with chests and enemies on. So it's a pretty nice item to have, to be fair. Other than that, though, we are just going to fast travel back to the level 2 entrance. And the reason we do that is just so we can get into the next cutscene quicker. Yes, we should head back. Hey, Schmidt. Man, those burgers look nice. I could do with a nice big juicy burger right now. <coughs> okay, so we have the briefing now. Uh, you gotta love the sort of little jokes thrown into these games. Well, well. It sure is lively in here. Yeah, it's not that lively, uh, Principal. S sorry, ma'am. For what? It warms my heart to see young people such as yourselves opening up to each other. Not to mention, it's to the school's benefit for the instructors to all get along. It'll be important for our next set of field exercises, too. I'm told the location will be more troublesome than last time. Huh? Sorry for the wait. Instructor Michael, welcome back. Huh? You! What's going on? Is it the prince? <laughs> Thank I think you, it's Chief the prince. And of course you as well. Yeah, Highness. it's the prince. We welcome you to our campus. Thank you for coming all the way here. My apologies for the sudden visit. Hey, Cedric, it's Cedric been a while, Rice buddy. I'm Cedric Arnor of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. However, I am not here today as a student. I oh, come well, as a representative soon. of the Imperial family to explain the current situation. Why is he a student at Fours? What's going on? What's going on with the main campus? Hmm. 
Yeah, we're going to crossbell everyone. It's going to be a fun trip to Crossbow, the place that absolutely hates my guts, so yeah, that, that's going to be fun, that's going to be fun. Going to be a lot of terrorist fights over there. Sir Drake, what do you want? <laughs> it certainly has. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the ceremony after the Northern War. I would have loved to see you receive your medal. Hearing Alfin recount it to me afterward only made me regret missing it all the more. Reen, might I have a bit of your time? No. I'd like to speak with you about a number of things. What's happened up until now and what will happen in the near future. Hmm, what do you mean, what will happen? What are you not telling me, buddy? I still clearly remember everything that happened back then, becoming one with the Vermilion Apocalypse, losing myself in it. I also remember piercing the Azure Knight's chest. Though they were on Duke Cayenne's side, they still helped rescue me, Crow especially. He gave everything he had to open a path to me, and as a result, he... I've spent all this time cursing my weakness. If only I were stronger back then, if only I had unwavering strength that could stand up to anyone and anything, I wouldn't have been taken advantage of by Duke Kyan. I wouldn't have been absorbed into the Vermilion Apocalypse. Your Highness. But this year, I enrolled at Thor's, at the Reborn Main Campus, the academy that will shape its students and this country to become the true foundation of the world. Have you heard? I had the top score on the entrance exams. How That's nice for you. amazing, Your Highness. I'm sure the Emperor, the Empress, Prince Oliver, and Princess Alfin are all very proud of you. No. I still have a long ways to go. I must become even stronger. Strong enough so that no one will be hurt because of my weakness ever again. Yes. That's right. To that end, I must... Your Highness? So, Reen, 
After the next field exercises are over, how would you like to transfer to the main campus? Hmm? What? The branch campus isn't a bad place per se, but it's still just a pale reflection of the real thing. The main campus has many promising students this year. In addition, the facilities have been improved and the faculty is far superior. Between the two, which would be more suitable for Erebonia's savior, the Ashen Chevalier? <laughs> the answer should be clear, right? It's like he's trying to recruit me into something. I thing. can't do that. Uh, what? I've been given the task of instructing the new Class 7, as well as all the other students of the branch campus. I only started two months ago. I can't abandon my duties here. So, I'm sorry, but I can't transfer. <laughs> Even at the request of the Crown Prince himself? Even wow, he's gotten cocky. Imperial command. But, for example, if you wanted me to teach at the main campus in between my classes here, that I could do. I won't accept that answer. Prince Cedric? What is going on? Why Kurt, is he so cocky all of a sudden? Tina too. Ah, hello, Kurt. It's been some time. Uh, nearly half a year, I believe. I'm glad to see you again. I never expected someone of your caliber to enroll at the branch campus. <clears throat> is... is that really you, your highness? Indeed. I've grown quite a bit recently, so it's no wonder you don't recognize me. I it think the year of Vermilion Apocalypse did more to Sadrake than I imagine uh, after so on. many years of loyal His personality is so it was different. a shock for the Vanders to be dismissed as the Imperial family's guardians. I'm sure it was difficult for you to accept, but there was no need to withdraw from your enrollment at the main campus. But this is a perfect opportunity. You can transfer to the main campus along with Reen. I can even have you stationed as my guardian. It would be a simple matter for me to overrule the government's decision. <sighs> Hey, you! Who do you think you are? You're talking all big, but you're wearing a uniform just like ours. No, He's you're not. still the prince, the Shana. uniform of Thor's main campus. He is Cedric Rice Arnor, the crown prince of the Empire of Erebonia. Huh? And oh, you, you just realized. Me? Are you a foreigner, then? Or perhaps from one of our newer provinces? Ah, uh -huh. and it's been a while since I've seen you too, Miss Black Rabbit. Major Lecture and Lord Rufus told me you were attending the school. Well, if Reen transfers to the main campus, I can accept you tagging along with him. Hmm? Transfer to the main campus? Wait, what? I'll return to hear your decision another day. I expect a favorable reply, Instructor Reen Schwarzer. What is going on with Cedric all of a sudden? <sighs> what? just happened I definitely think Cedric's gonna be one of the main villains in this game that is a major personality shift Yeah, he's changed a lot. Okay, so now we can enter Iron Hell Keep whenever we want, and we can also grind there whenever we want. Anywho, with that said, we are now in the evening section of the free day. Which means we can do some more side quests. So, the first place we're going to go to is the swimming pool. So, let's go. Now, we are about to have a race in here. Because once we talk to Wayne, it's his side quest. And this is one of those side quests that you can get a normal oh, amount of AP from. And Shores. there's also some bonus AP to earn. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to be a race against Wayne. If we lose, we get 3 AP. If we win, we get 5 AP. So, of course, we obviously want to win. Because we want all that AP. 
And let's get swimming. Okay, let's get the race going. And this is not gonna be fun. It's a boarding masher. I can still go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, it's that time of year where the cold starts coming. Okay, so we need to press a triangle or circle when the circles overlap. And doing that will increase our speed. So let's do it, shall we? Wow, that's fast. I need to take fast forward off. No, I lost. I lost. It's alright though. We can actually rematch that. And the fast forward really, yeah, the fast forward really caught me off there. Now let's try this again. Wow, he's really fu- Oh wait, how did I get first? He totally beat me that time. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. Oh wait, unless I was controlling Wayne and not Reen. Okay, and with that race over, we get 3,000 Mira, 5 AP, and a character note. So, with that, let's continue on, shall we? So, we're going to go and talk to Monk now. However, Monk... Uh, sorry about that, everyone. A uh, little something uh, just popped up there that I had to take care of really quick. So, let's see. Uh, where were we? We were doing... Monk, weren't we? We were going to talk to Monk. And Monk is located in the middle of Leaves, so let's just go to the station square. Because Monk's actually going to be in front of the inn. And the reason we need to talk to him is, well, we need to challenge him to a game of cards. <coughs> yeah, we, we play Vantage Master, we play. Okay, now that we can play him, it's time to challenge him. And begin match. And the reason we want to challenge him is, well, we need to win the Uptide card. And it's not that difficult. Oh, that's a really bad hand, to be fair. Hmm. Get rid of both of them, I think. Look how I did get a Blix. I can't summon it, unfortunately. I'm going to put that in the front row. And then I'm just going to power up my Ranger. Oh, my range is super good, bro. Super good. And then we'll just uh, attack. Oh, he has a ranger as well, actually. Mm, that's not great. Okay, we'll summon the Blix in the front row. That'll basically protect me against the uh, the weaker mobs, so to speak. 
I was saying that he does have two water mobs, so... Uh, I'm gonna kill one of his water mobs. Just as a... just as a safety precaution more than anything. Okay, that's not good, bro. That's not good. Oh, another blacks. We'll let someone now in the front row. We'll get rid of his second water mob. We'll move that into the magic crystal for more attack. Attack the ranger. Attack the ranger with that. And I can't attack with that, unfortunately. Okay. Well, either way, we're gonna win this turn. We're gonna win, bro. It's gonna be super easy. Gonna be super easy. And G G buddy. Just what I'd expect. Okay, and there's the uptide cards. Okay, now that we beat Monk, it is time to go ahead to the first floor of the dormitory. Because it is time for a bathroom visit. And this time we're gonna get a little event with good old Ortina. Yeah, let's wash up. And there she is. And there's the bonding gribble tuna. And we also got some uh, some strawberry milk. Anywho, let us go and talk to Jingo now. And Jingo is located in the town as well, right outside the weapon shop. And the reason we want to talk to Jingo is for the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The character notes. I couldn't get my words out there. Where are you, Jingo? Where are you? Uh, hmm. Maybe he's inside the shop. Maybe he's inside the shop. Oh wait, no, this is Jingo. The kid. My bad. A uh, dog man Jingo store. Okay. And there's the character note added. So we can move on now. First things first though, do you have any new weapons for me? Do you have any weapons? Okay, I guess I gotta talk to the dog. I mean, uh, who doesn't like a shop run by a dog, I guess? Oh well, oh well, let's see what she's got for me. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't really get that anyway, so it doesn't matter. We can get another Septian Vein, but I need Crest for that. Uh, hmm. See, I mean, that does give me Strength 40, Bluster does. Oh, the 
There's so many good items here. I can't make them. Oh well. Oh well. Right, can I make any good accessories yet? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, all the best accessories are always at the bottom. Just like that one. Okay. I can't make any of them. I can't make that. I really want that one, though. Hmm, yeah, I can't make anything good. Oh, I can make that one, which gives me a hundred strength. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see, lighter, stone brooch, and citrus ball. Can I buy them? Uh, lighter, stone brooch, and citrus ball. I can buy them. I'm going to buy three of them. Three of them. And three of them. Exchange. No, not exchange. No, not check bargains. Okay. Now I can make them, can't I? Well, that one's defense. We don't care about defense. We don't care about defense. We don't care about art. We care about the strength. So, I can make two red pendulums because for some reason I equipped the lighter. Don't know why I did that. Let's just go ahead and unequip that. Uh, lighter, you can come off. I'll take them off as well, actually. Well, no, I'll keep greens on. Anyway, exchange, trade, or equipped, and here we go, make another red pendulum, make three red emblems, No mind, I can't make three, damn, I can't make that now because I don't have enough U materials, god damn it, oh, well. oh wow, well. I guess I'll just have to wait until next time. Anywho, let's carry on. So, we can do some bonding events now. Now, obviously we only have one bonding point, so this is where things become really, really important. There are two bonding events that we can do right now. We can do Kurt, or we can do Aliot. However, we have to do Aliot here. No other way about it, it has to be Aliot, because we get a character note profile from this. So, let's just go ahead and uh, give Aliot a cool... Yep, we're going to spend the bonding point on Elliot.
Here's the music room. Well, technically the general art club, even though, like, it's only music happening in there. Come on, guys, get going, get going, get playing. And Elliot decides to show them up. Do we get a new song? No. We didn't get to listen to them playing. In that case, I'll make sure to reserve a special seat just for you. Everyone from our class, Evan, and your new students are welcome too, of course. And there's the bonding event done. So we got four stars with Elliot now. Nice, nice. Okay, <coughs> and with that bonding event done, we are actually pretty much done with everything in the free day now. Like, well, I say pretty much, we are done with the free day. So, we can go ahead and go back to the dorm, and then we can uh, basically just save the game and proceed on. I have no idea why I went down to the first floor. I should have just gone to the uh, the food. Anywho, yeah, so that is the entire free day done. Everything is done. So now we just need to rest. Go have the mecha battle on the next day, and then it's time for the actual mission. But I'm afraid that is all going to be in the next video, because this is where I am ending this one, everybody. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you're new to the channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. As always, everyone, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.